and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura and I am equal parts coffee and fashion. I post luxury unboxings and reviews as well as other fashion related content on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing as well as hitting that notifications bell so you will be the first to know when I post a new video. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the Prada Symbol, Symbol sunglasses. I've had them for six months now. I did record an unboxing on my channel previously, but there's been a price increase on the Prada website. I just figured I would do an update and just kind of talk about some of the changes and how I feel about the sunglasses now after having them for six months. I purchased the sunglasses six months ago from the Sunglass Hut. At the time I purchased them, they were $378 and they were also offered on the Prada website for $410. Uh, the difference was that at the Sunglass Hut, I believe they only carried the ivory black and tortoiseshell. There's a chance they color, uh, carried one other color, but I know that they sold out pretty quickly of the different options that they had. If you purchase them through Prada, there were a few other color options. So they had the black and the ivory. They also had um, a beautiful plum lens and then also a denim lens, which was just really, really cool. I don't believe those were offered through the Sunglass Hut. And I also, on the Prada website, I didn't see the tortoiseshell at the time. Currently on the Prada website, they are $455, which is a pretty high price increase. Leaves are also offered in two additional colors. They're very vibrant. Uh, the one is like a beautiful bluish color and then the other one is a really nice purple color. The colors um, offered on the website are $455 and currently at the Sunglass Hut, there was not a price increase. They are still $378. There are also other websites um, that are selling these particular sunglasses such as Easy Contacts and also Cool Frames. I've never purchased from those sites before and they're significantly less expensive. They're like $198 to about $250. Um, personally, I wouldn't really feel comfortable purchasing through those sites just because I'm not really familiar with them and I don't know if they're authentic. A question I did get asked on my other video and just something that was really confusing is the fact that if you go on the Prada website, the sunglasses are called Prada Symbol or Symbol, however you pronounce it, um, and they don't really have much information about the, the style number or ID or you know, however that works. However, if you go to search for them on the Sunglass Hut website or other websites, they don't go by Prada, Symbol, Symbol. Um, so you have to put in this number, which is, I'll put it up above, ER17WS. And that's how you can easily search. And I found them on other websites as well. I know that is really confusing and I think it would be a lot better to the Sunglass Hut was able to just put the name that was listed through Prada so you know you're purchasing the same pair. However, just know that those are the same. They are exactly the same sunglasses. I did actually even confirm that with the Sunglass Hut just to see and they said yes, just in order to search for their inventory and just to make it easier, they always go by those numbers. So have been trying to search on other websites and you were confused because you weren't able to find the way that Prada lists it. It's just because they go by a different number. So just feel confident that they are the same pair. If you had any other additional questions about the sunglasses that I didn't answer, feel free to leave a comment below or also DM me on Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, so now let's talk about the wear and tear of the sunglasses. Like I said, I've had these for six months now and I don't really notice any scratching on them. Um, maybe just like a tiny bit but I feel like they look really good. I do like the fact that they're like the plastic material, so they are very, very lightweight, extremely comfortable to wear. I haven't had to get these adjusted, which is good because a lot of my sunglasses, particularly any metal sunglasses I have, with the frames, I do have to get them tight and pretty frequently, but after the original adjustment on these, because they were just like a little bit too snug on the sides, they just kind of loosened them and expanded them a little bit. They've been comfortable and I haven't had to adjust them since. These have been the primary sunglasses I've been reaching for since I purchased them. So I wear them at least, I would say three to four times a week. And they're, I think they're great. I get a lot of questions about them when I'm wearing them. And I definitely think they're an extremely trendy style. If you are considering purchasing them now, but you're fearful that the style might go out soon and they might not be trendy for long, I do definitely feel like these are going to be a style that continues into the next season. The great thing about these and the way that they're kind of shaped is I feel like the the blockier style starting to fall slightly out of trend. Now a little bit more of a round shape frame is in style. I do like the fact that there's like a little bit of detail along here that does make them look less blocky. Um, it almost gives it like a slightly more rounded style. Ami Song, who is the 
influencer I talk about all the time and I'm very influenced by her style. Um, she still wears these all the time. She posts different vlogs and things on her channel and she's constantly wearing these sunglasses and she said that these are definitely her go-to. And also I think the fact that Prada increased the price so significantly and they do have a color out of stock just goes to show that they are going to be trendy for the next season. So I definitely, if you are thinking about the purchasing these, I would take the plunge and go for it. So first I'm just gonna try them on for you guys real quick and I'm going to get a close-up shot of them so you can just kind of see how they look. And here they are on. So like I said, there's just a little bit of minor scratching with these and usually I'm very particular with my sunglasses. I always keep them in the case and I'm very, very careful with them. So I've definitely been less careful with these just because they are the plastic and they are more durable. So I would definitely recommend them because they do hold up really, really well if you're somebody that um, has a tendency not to take the best care of your sunglasses, I definitely would recommend these. I don't think I've really dropped them too much, but I don't notice any dents or um, any little markings on the edges at all. The only negative thing I'm going to say in regards to sunglasses aren't even about the actual sunglasses, it's about the case that they came with. Now, like I said, I got these from the Sunglass Hut. I do have another pair of Prada sunglasses and they came in the same exact case. So there is a chance that if you purchase them directly through the website, it might be a different case. I'm not really sure. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. It, I just really don't like this case. It's extremely bulky and it's very large considering how small the sunglasses are. It also has this magnetic closure, which is nice because it's really easy to open. However, because it's magnetic, I feel like sometimes like bobby pins and stuff can get kind of like caught in here and then it releases the magnet so that this way it kind of opens and then I feel like it's more prone and exposed so it can scratch more easily. And also there's just, because it's velvet, there's a lot of visible wear here and there's also a lot of visible wear around the corners. I do like sunglasses a lot. So I probably have over like 25 pairs, I would say. So I do have um, a lot of different cases for my sunglasses and I do have to, not to be too negative, but I do have to say this is by far like my least favorite case that I've gotten. I I did actually, when I purchased the sunglasses, because I knew I already didn't like this case from my other pair, I did ask if there was like another case I could possibly get, but unfortunately this is the only case that they have for them. So like this case, uh, my Cousin bag, because it's like, it has three separate compartments, it, this doesn't fit well in the middle compartment at all, or really in any of the compartments because of the size of it. So if you also are somebody who carries around smaller hand bags, that's just something to consider. I really don't think it's a big deal. Like I said, they are pretty durable. So I, this is something I like never do. I always put them in case, but I have recently just been kind of closing them up and putting them in my handbag and they've been really, really good and I haven't had to worry about them. So I do happen to have a pair of Gucci sunglasses. I know they typically come in this like beautiful case and they have a lot of different colors. I just wanna show you, they do definitely fit very easily. So if you prefer this case over the other one and you do happen to have Gucci ones, they, they do to fit totally fine. And that's it for this video. If you got this far, thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. I really appreciate it. And if you did enjoy it, please consider liking the video as well as subscribing to my channel and hitting that notifications bell so you will be the first to know when I post my next video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, bye.